Okay, in this video, we are going to go through fitting the likelihood via R's function optim. We're going to start out uh, talking about using a computer to fit and train a model. We'll then set up a likelihood function, um, everything but the derivatives we will do on pen and paper. The derivatives will actually happen for us on a computer via the function optim. And then after we go through pen and paper, we'll do an official example in R. The example we're going to use is the exponential distribution. Okay, so here we go. A little bit about using a computer to fit and train a model. It turns out this is the strategy of modern machine learning. Uh, for instance, I've went ahead and found language on the uh, machine learning library TensorFlow. And I'm going to give you like a little table that's going to try to match the language used in TensorFlow to what we're going to use here in this video. So for instance, in this video, we are going to fit a likelihood function via the function optim. In the world of TensorFlow, that actually gets broken up into two pieces. There's a model and a loss function. So for what the world of TensorFlow calls the combination of model and loss function, we are going to call a likelihood. And that's just setting up the function to be minimized, to actually fit or train the model, the world of TensorFlow uses a function named train. So I'm going to put two parentheses behind train to remind you that it's a function. And technically, train is the most common word used in the world of TensorFlow uh, to minimize your model and loss function. Now we, on the other hand, are going to use R's function optim. We are going to be solely working in the world of R, not in the world of TensorFlow. So these are going to be the language, the words I will continue to use throughout the discussion here. But if you wanted to take this video further into the world of TensorFlow, then there is this correspondence here. What we're calling a likelihood is a model and loss function combined in the world of TensorFlow, and what we call optim is going to go by the commonly chosen function name, train. Okay, so we have a little bit of context for why this is going to be so important to us, since most modern machine learning, whether it be TensorFlow or something else, uses the strategies we're going to employ here. Let's see exactly how we can use these strategies. So if you recall, Optim, the function, Optim, the function, takes care of derivatives. It technically approximates derivatives, but that's going to be good enough for us. Takes care of derivatives, setting derivatives equal to zero and solving for the unknown parameter. If Optim does all that for us, the piece we need to do is set up the likelihood function. Like, let's get rid of some typos here. Likelihood function, and we're going to set up the likelihood function using capital N exponential random variables that are independent and identically distributed from the exponential distribution with unknown population parameter lambda. And I'm just going to remind you all that lambda is strictly positive. The likelihood function in this scenario is a function of the unknown population parameter lambda given or condition on that pipe there given the vector of unknown data. 
the way we set up the likelihood function is the product across the density function evaluated at all the observations. Now, if you recall, it's easier to work on the log scale. That is, it's easier for both humans and computers to work with the natural log of the likelihood function and use this to do your calculus by hand or calculus on a computer, which is the strategy we're going to take here using the function optim. Now I'm just going to skip ahead to the answer of what the simplified log likelihood looks like because we're not technically going through the derivation of the likelihood right now. We're just trying to figure out how to do the likelihood method on a computer. Now that is our simplified log likelihood, but if you recall, finding the best, the value of lambda that maximizes this simplified log likelihood, the value itself is called the maximum likelihood estimator. Now the only issue is optim, oops, optim does minimization by default. And yet, we want the max likelihood. I'm running out of space, but I think you guys get the idea. To settle it, all we're going to do in R is define negative 1 times the simplified, let's do times like that, simplified log likelihood. What we are going to define in R is negative 1 times the simplified log likelihood. If we had to highlight anything on this screen, that's the piece we should highlight. Because once we enter R here, that is going to be the piece we're going to need to code up ourselves. It's negative 1 times the simplified log likelihood. So I am going to use the data set droughts. There's another video where you can read or hear about an introduction to the data set droughts. And for now, I'm going to define a log likelihood. That's LL underscore exponential for the log likelihood from the exponential distribution. The first parameter to this function should be the unknown population parameter, lambda, and then a vector of data, which we'll just call lowercase x. We're going to need the length of x. That is going to record the number of observations we have, our sample size. And then we'll type out the function we wrote previously on the slide. We'll go negative 1 times n times the log of lambda plus I'm going to distribute the negative 1 through myself because I know how plus lambda times the sum of x. That will be our function to be minimized. It is the equivalent of negative 1 times the simplified log likelihood. Now if you recall we will call optim with an initial starting value of where we should begin walking downhill from. Second argument to optim will be the function to be minimized. The third argument will be the method we should use throughout. If you recall, b at the end of that method string stands for bounded. Now this is where you get to put in a lower bound for the first argument to the function that you will minimize. We are going to put in a lower bound for the parameter lambda in the function ll exponential. And then we are going to pass in to the named argument x the values that optim will pass to LL exponential in order to appropriately call and minimize the simplified log likelihood of the exponential distribution.
since we are going to use the data set droughts and the variable that we want to call the function LL exponential on is the length of time between consecutive rainfall events at the, let's see, was it the Winnipeg International Airport in Canada? This should be sufficient for us. And there is our first run of Optim from the initial point two that we will start walking downhill from along the wall of the function LL exponential. We will walk downhill with respect to the parameter lambda until we get to the final value that appropriately minimizes the log likelihood for the exponential function. The parameter value here is the parameter of interest. Our best guess for the unknown population parameter, lambda, dependent on the data we have, the data here come from the data frame under the variable named length, the best guess we have for the unknown population parameter dependent on the data in the variable length is 0.05. That is our best guess for the unknown population parameter lambda. Value is the value of the log likelihood function at the minimum value of lambda. We actually don't really care about value much. It took us 11 steps to get to that minimum value of lambda, 0.5. The convergence message is zero, which means uh, we successfully converge, and the message tells us something else. The piece we are really interested in is the named element of the output of Optim, par. So you could see if we clear our workspace over here, we can get out exactly that named element, which if you recall from doing the likelihood method by hand on the exponential data from this droughts data set, you can see that what we estimated from Optim, that is finite approximations to derivatives on a computer, is actually quite close to what we calculated previously by hand. This was our first example on how to use Optim to minimize a likelihood function to estimate an unknown population parameter given a vector of data.